Good morning children I welcome all of you to today's history class India is a land of great kings distinct culture a land of diversity and history so let us explore and learn about the greatness of these kings today let us begin with a new lesson India during the Maurya period In this lesson we will learn about the greatness of the Mauryan kings their administration art and architecture of this period Children in the previous lesson we discussed about the Janapadas and the Mahajanapadas the Mahajanapadas of Magadha became the center of India's first empire as discussed in the first lesson that many invaders and foreign rulers invaded india with a desire to have a unified rule all over the subcontinent king cyrus king darius and emperor alexander were among such rulers who dreamt to bring india under their rule king cyrus extended his rule from northwest india to rome and to egypt in africa similarly king darius around 518 bce conquered the northwest of india up to punjab political relations between india and iran were established during the rule of darius king darius also introduced a uniform currency called darik In 326 BC Alexander invaded India after crossing the river Indus he advanced towards Takshashila some tribes surrendered peacefully others did not the indians were defeated in the fierce battle alexander wanted to press on and attempt to conquer all of india but his war weary soldiers refused and his officers convinced him to return to persia the soldiers were probably feeling homesick and tired of fighting before leaving india alexander appointed greek officers called satraps to look after the conquered territories he started his return journey but died on the way back in 323 bce at Babylon which is in today's Iraq Children do you know Alexander's invasion led to an increase in trade between India and the western countries also Greek sculpture influenced Indian art giving rise to Gandhara school of art Look at your screen children you can see the picture of the Greek coins the greek kings minted characteristic coins one side the coin had a picture of the king who had minted the coin and on the other side a picture of a greek god also the name of the king was also written on the coin alexander's coins and other indian kings also started minting similar coins Let us revise the portion that we have learned today reading the pages from the textbook. Do you know? Do you know? In the 6th century BCE, a king named Cyrus had established a vast empire in Iran. This empire extended from northwest India to Rome and to Egypt in Africa. Around 518 BCE, An Iranian emperor named Darius conquered the region of northwest India up to Punjab. Political relations between India and Iran were established during the reign of Emperor Darius. He had introduced a uniform currency called darik in all parts of his empire. The capital city of Persepolis was built during his reign. This city is in Iran. The Greek Emperor Alexander. Alexander had become the king of Macedonia in 336 BC. 
he wanted to conquer the whole world and establish the biggest empire after conquering turkey syria egypt and the persian empire he came to the doorsteps of india invasion of alexander alexander invaded india's northwest frontier in 326 bce crossing the indus river he reached takshashila he conquered most of the independent kingdoms in india alexander wanted to keep moving but his soldiers refused so alexander had no choice but to retreat he divided the conquered territories into three parts and put each under the control of a general alexander unfortunately never reached his homeland macedonia he died in babylon in 323 bc after his death chandragupta maurya defeated the greek generals and made mauryas the supreme power in india impact of invasion of alexander alexander defeated all the local indian kings and successfully reached the punjab alexander's campaign led to an increase in the trade between india and the western world historians who accompanied alexander introduced india to the western world through their writings greek sculpture influenced indian art giving rise to the gandhara school of art greek historians provided the details of the campaigns of alexander in india including the dates of various events this has helped to establish definite dates for subsequent events the greek kings minted characteristic coins on one side the coin had a picture of the king who had minted the coin and on the other side a picture of a greek god the name of the king was also written on the coin later indian kings also started minting similar coins It's time to conclude our history class today. In our next history class, we will learn about how the Mauryan Empire began to take shape shortly after an invasion by Alexander the Great. Also, how the Mauryas controlled over Magadh and established the first ever empire in the history of India. Now you have to complete the worksheet given in the PDF below. Thank you.